Hi, Michael. When you got in there, you walked better, you gave up a single, and you ended your outing retiring 16 straight. What were you able to do that allowed you to get so many betters out? Uh, I ended up just kind of attacking the zone. The first four pitches were uh, a little scary. Uh, I felt like I was kind of hitting my lanes and everything, and then it, I just felt like it didn't have the run on the baseball, so I just was missing glove side. And then uh, I was able to lock it in, and I don't know. I uh, was able to get ahead of almost everybody, uh, throwing both sinker cutter for strikes. Um, had some pretty good change up. So I was just able to kind of get ahead of the count and, and get into the dugout as fast as I can. Um, so it was good. You mentioned that cutter. How improved is that pitch for you? Yeah, it's, it's been it's been good. I uh, Last year, I always struggled with making my slider. Um, it was too slow. And so throwing the cutter kind of brought the velo back. And when I want to get it, I know I can get it up like 91, 92. But I also feel comfortable kind of making it bigger, and that was today. I was I was using it as more of a, a like a, a slutter slider type pitch that was 84, 86, and and uh, was able to get some some pretty good takes and and some some ugly swings and misses. Still early in the season, but what does an outing do like this for your confidence against a team with a pretty potent offense? Yeah, um, I uh, I've faced the Blue Jays a lot, all those like younger guys in the minor leagues a lot, so I, I've seen them a lot. Um, and uh, we had a pretty good game plan going into it. And then I was just kind of able to take the confidence I had in spring training um, over into the end of the season. Um, I felt like I was in a pretty good spot towards the end of spring training um, and then was just able to execute out there on the, on the stage. Let's take the next one from Tom Merriam. Michael, how important do you see the role of the long reliever on this team throughout the season? It used to be not such a significant role, but it seems to have gained importance. Yeah, I think a lot of teams are going to um, – kind of gain some importance um, with, with, with long relievers, um, whether it's that or, or a six starter, even seven starters, whatever it is, um, just to kind of keep the bullpen healthy, um, but also make sure that you're not having three, four starters go 200 plus innings a, a, this year. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, my goal was to get 100 innings this year and impact the team. And uh, I guess I'm, I'm six down so far. Next one from Jordan Horovin. Hey, Michael, um, Aaron Boone said that you've come a long way. I think he's just reflecting sort of on your time, obviously not just today, but in your career so far. How would you kind of reflect on what it's taken for you to get to this point? Yeah, uh, I uh, kind of underestimated how, how tough it is to come back from an injury. And uh, so in 2019, when I got hurt, I just kind of totally got out of my mechanics, totally got out of my mindset um, that I had previous years. And uh, I showed spurts of it in 2020. Um, and then even like my first outing this year in spring training was back to my, my bad ways. Um, but because I've been able to kind of have a few good outings under my belt, I don't know if that's what's given me the confidence or I was able to get the, the right feeling in my mechanics and, and get it back. But um, Blake, Karki, and I, we've, we made some pretty good tweaks to mechanics, to pitch sequencing, to just even just different pitches that uh, have allowed me to have success at this level. So um, kind of all those little tweaks a added to, to the confidence that I've gotten. And then just in terms of your role, um, Aaron mentioned, you know, you being able to do a lot of different things for this team. What do you view as sort of your ideal role, if you could try to? I, ideally, I'd love to be a starter. Uh, I, I always pitch myself as a starter. But, I mean, we got six, seven, eight studs on this team. So um, I also pride myself in being versatile, where I could go out there in a relief role and still go six or, I don't know, whether it's get one out and try to get a ground ball out, double play, whatever it is. Um, if I'm versatile, I feel like then I, I'm able to be used um, in in any circumstance, and then hopefully I just kind of get the confidence of the of the coaches to put me in those in those situations. Thanks for your time, Michael. We can take a final question from Max Goodman. Hey, Mike, do you recall ever retiring 16 in a row before? Is that something you've, you've done in your career? I mean, in the minor leagues, yeah, yeah, I've, I've had a couple. Um, I, I would say my best uh, minor league outing was actually against New Hampshire, which is the Blue Jays. So. Um, it's, it, that's one of the games that I always go, kind of go back to, and I'm like, all right, if I'm in a bad way, I go back to, it was like July 6th or something against the against uh, New Hampshire. Um, so I, that's where I've kind of seen these hitters a lot, where it's not just me facing them, but then I also watch a lot of video on that. So um, yeah, I've had I've had a couple that uh, have been have been pretty good, but not none at the big league level, obviously.